Hello everyone, Gabriel here, and today we are going to learn how to use OCR information captured by ChronoScan from our documents to set the file names and folder structures for our exports. All we have to do is to go up here on the export patch button and then on the file system we should have the file system and then we click either on the options here or just start tweaking right here on the export directory and file names let's click on the options here we have some more options and let's set the output directory i will just select it here and then click on the options button right here and you can see the variables wizards show up down here that is very important we have the preview value using those variables we have here. I don't want to use any of them. I will just remove and then let's set our own. Let's go down here and you can see we have document fields, we have page fields, we have station data, that's computer data, some batch data and some other kinds of data here. What I want to do is use the station work dir that's the directory and then i'll go up here and use doc fields batch i can't forget to add the slashes here and then i'll click ok and as you saw on the preview that's the directory where our files are going to be located at. Now let's tweak the file name. Again, I click on the file name here, click on the options button, and the variables wizard will open again. I don't want to use any of that information. I'll just close it. And the information we want is the document fields information. We can use any of those fields here. What I want to use is the invoice number, we can do a slash and then let's use the customer account. I will click OK. You can see the preview here. We click OK and OK again. And you can see here the information is also changed. Now I just click export now. And we wait for a little bit to check out our files. And you can see that's the folder we just selected, the folder structure, and that's the file name we just selected. So that's it, guys. I hope you liked it, and I will see you on the next tutorial. Bye-bye.